She and Tamo to the Miwasuki native village. She and Tamo means hello, welcome to the Miwasuki language. Now, Popper is the smallest alligator in here, but he's the strongest one. He actually weighs close to 300 pounds. Now, as you guys can see, I'm actually covering up his eyes. If he can't see anything around him, nothing's going on and it keeps him nice and calm. Please do not try this on your husbands or wives, it does not work. <laughs> Now once they grabbed a hold of the jaws, the next step was to tie a rope around it. Now remember, the men were out there by themselves. They had no other help. So the technique that they came up with was called the bulldog. They placed the, the jaws of the alligator between their chin and their chest, just like this. So here's my imaginary rope tied around the jaws, nice little knot there, and the alligator was secure. And that was because they had to bring back the alligator alive to the village. It was their way of keeping the meat fresh. Now once the alligator arrived at the village, the women were the ones to respectfully kill the alligator and they made sure that they utilized everything. Nothing was wasted. Even the smallest bone on the alligator's body had a purpose. So for example, a lot of those smaller bones were incorporated into rattles for babies. Women would pick up their hair with the ribs. Men would cut weapons, utensils, anything else out of the bone. 
Now trade was something that was very popular back then, but as we all know, that is no longer uh, an option. You have to actually use money to purchase your goods. So when that started happening, this is when they actually started hunting alligators and selling the skin. Uh, well, people started to become curious. They wanted to know how they captured alligators. So they started driving down this road here, and they would look out for them and see how they would capture them. And at the end of that, they would give them money and say, thank you for the show. And that's when they realized it was easier to put on a show with alligators and make money that way, and they didn't have to go out and hunt and kill their sacred animals. Now, the shows became something that was called man versus beast to make it interesting. And then later on was when the first stunts were incorporated into the show. And the first stunt was one of the originals. They called it the Florida Smile because alligators look like they're always smiling. So let's take a look if he wants to give you guys a big, pretty smile today. Now, all along his face, there's a bunch of little black dots. Those are nerve endings. So if I just tap on the outside, he will slowly open up his mouth. But if anything touches the inside, like a drip of water or some sand, he'll automatically slam his jaws with close to 2,000 pounds of pressure. Now, he has about 80 teeth in his mouth. Now, he will break those teeth fighting other alligators. So if he breaks a tooth, within a couple months, he'll regrow a new one to replace it. Alligators go through about four to 5,000 teeth in their lifetime. Now, the Sikh Sikh people also utilized the teeth back then. They would make jewelry out of the right. teeth. But also, when the teeth come out of the skull, they're hollow on the inside. So they would use them as measuring cups to measure up herbs, spices, medicines, stuff like that. Now, because that of that first stunt there, they started to become very, very popular. People were coming from all over the place to come see and watch the show. Now, this is when they opened up competition. They wanted to see who dared to come out and perform different stunts on alligators. And they actually still have those competitions going on till this day. And now it's classified as an extreme sport. The competition actually just ended two weeks ago. But since we weren't there to see it, I'm gonna perform one of those tricks for you guys today. Now this next and final stunt is something that we call the chin trick if it goes correctly. Now if I mess up, then we call it the face off. Now it's gonna go by pretty fast, so make sure you have your cameras ready if you're gonna take pictures. Ja, was das jetzt soll, weiß ich nicht genau. After this, I'm going to bring out a baby alligator. If you guys were interested in meeting the Mississippi language, so Shanavasha, everyone. Thank you so much for Thank coming. You. Thank you. Thank you.